this is the day the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah. God bless. Love you. Hey everybody, God bless you. Man, we had a real great Bible study this morning. We talked about Romans 6 that says to be cardinally minded as death or be spiritually minded as life and peace. We talked about the fact is that we really did uh, dig down into the scriptures, the, the, the challenge of things that goes against all of us for the peace of mind. The peace of mind is it passes all understanding. And we, we, we focus on the fact that the last week that we're no longer under the law. You know, I love some people say they want the law. We have to have the law because we need these guardrails. And we already realize from history, those guardrails have fallen, have failed to keep us to do the right thing. But the guardrails of love, John 13, 34, so this is a new commandment I've given to you, that you love one another as I have loved you, that you also love one another. So we, <laughs> we want to be able to start operating in love, man, love for one another. See, Romans 8 verse 1 said, there's now therefore no condemnation to those in Christ Jesus who walk not after the flesh, but after the spirit. We even know the fact is that in, 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 the, in the scriptures that you're going to see in the Bible study, we even know the fact is that those are in the flesh cannot please God and that the laws of God are not subject to them. Oh, that's a marvel thing for people to understand. We try to put the law on people, but the laws of God is not subject to those who are in the flesh. Being carnally minded, you are not under the laws of God because you're already condemned. This is talking about having a eternal life in Christ Jesus. Those who don't believe in eternal life, they're already condemned. Those who don't want to believe in Jesus Christ, they're already condemned. But those of us who have received Jesus Christ, a personal Lord and Savior, we have eternal life. And we're not, we're not cardinally minded, but we're spiritually minded, and spiritually minded being word minded. So really take a look at the study that we did today, this Sunday, and I guarantee you'll love it. And the other piece we found out too, and I want to study a little bit more that I want you to study on with me as well, look into it until the next time we talk, is the difference between feeling and believing. See, John 3.16 says, To God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, to whosoever believes in him shall not perish but have everlasting life. So he interested the fact he said, believe, right? And then we talk about feelings. And, and the fact is that sometimes we feel like something ain't right. We sometimes say we, we may believe some people, I believe people think in this way about me, but you don't really, you have nothing, your foundation of belief is not in believing in God, but believing in your feelings, and your feelings, in most cases, is based derived from your senses. And then if you go by your senses, and which means your flesh, Romans 7 said, in my flesh dwelleth no good thing. So let's think about that and study that a little bit more. I want you to meditate on until the next time we, we have a study. Feeling versus believing. I really believe and believe in God, not believe in my ability, not believe in your ability, not believe in the world ability, not believe in man's ability. See, even we have a situation dealing with racism. <laughs> Somebody's believing in their flesh. The son that believe in the flesh, but the, the, the of superiority based on their white. Some believe in the flesh based on superiority of, the, of being black. Those beliefs has weak foundations. Believing in God has the power and the might of God. Hey, I hope you enjoyed the video and we will see you next Sunday. We also have Thursday night videos, a live session, so you're welcome to join there as well. Remember, we walk by faith, not by sight, and don't forget we love one another. Amen? Hallelujah. It was great study. Please take time to look at it. All right. Hope you enjoy the videos. Bye. <laughs>
So, yes, so it is our belief yes, sir. that gets us over the hump. It is our belief that gets us victory in those times of tribulations and trials because they are all right here within this battlefield of your mind. Your and mind. if your mind isn't sound, if your mind doesn't, is not equipped with the word of God, then your mind will be overthrown. No different than the, that, that what, what, what is that? Uh, what country was that we just pulled out of? Um, uh, we just pulled out of Afghanistan. Afghanistan. It will crumble like Af Afghanistan when the word is not there to protect that mind. Yes. And it'll be no different than the Taliban just taking over. Bam, 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 until you feel like you are not saved. You feel like you're not a Christian. You feel like you're just falling away from God. And then you just give up, which yeah. is what the army did. They gave up and just left because their leadership was corrupt and they left. So, right. I mean, it, it's just, I don't know. I'm just passionate about this part. Well, I think, I think, I think I, let me ask you something because this you 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 God is working on you and I like what he's telling you to tell us all of us. Let, let me let me I, I had a revelation of something while you was talking and and what was said at the beginning when you said with the state the study with uh with Elliot, you were saying about when you don't not you, but you were saying in the discussion about feel safe, right? Mm -hmm. And then you just talked about love as a commandment, right? Christ, right? That's a commandment uh, yeah. to love one another. Let me ask you this question and then ride on that and see what you can do for, for us that's listening. We have made love a feeling more than an action. And what I mean is, a, it's a when you, you remember the guys when you, you started that conversation y'all had said when you don't feel like you say what if you don't when you don't feel like you say, and then we talk about the fact that Christ said a command you love one another. Is it's the feeling about love in itself, meaning feeling, opposed to the the heart of what. The spirits want. The spirit is saying, you, you know what scripture say, you honor me with your lips, but not in your heart, right? <clears throat> if 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 I don't feel, if I is feeling a flesh-based peace or it is a spiritual peace. I well, think Go ahead. Feelings, feel, feelings are a manifestation of your physical self. Okay. But I think it's a response to your mental self. Okay. So what, what I'm saying is your 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 feelings are a response to how your mental body reacts to okay. situations. Uh -huh. So I think that love is not an an action. Love is a response. Love is a response. But where, where is the feeling? How do we disconnect the feeling and believing? Because feeling it's is because you, you don't respond to anything other than God's word. Okay. In other words, he that's the foundation. God's word. But when you get where you fall short is when you react. To this physical realm, right, right, it, it, and this this is just something that's just made aware to me is that you can choose, which is a response. Yes, sir. To love your enemy. Okay. But you can react based on your feelings. Your feelings. Yeah, there is a love for your enemy. Yeah, I'm right. Feeling reaction is a is more of a feeling. It's not a consideration, right? Response is you thought about it. you 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 weighed everything out on it, 
Yeah. Thank so you, you in, in response, you are hearing and hearing by the word of God. So your response is based on that. So you hear to get input into your, your computer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Your thoughts. It doesn't have to be, you know, something outward. Yeah. If you hear, you hear your thoughts. You hear God's word in you. You hear God. And you 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 hear you hear sound. Yeah. So and as long as all those areas line up with the word of God, then you react. But when they don't, okay, you respond. Yeah. You respond to God's word. Instead of, and you're, instead of reacting, you're according to God's yes, will. Yes, sir. Just what I'm saying, I, I, I think if you ride with me a little bit, saying is that there's a there is a difference between feeling and believing. Is what I'm saying. Oh, that, yeah. that, that, that I think that's where maybe that's where we we, we uh, get off track because the enemy goes after our feeling. Which is really, if, if our feelings are based on our flesh, if that, you know what I mean, if it's riding in the flesh, the problem yeah. with the flesh in Romans 7 is, in my flesh, what? Dwell as no God. So if I'm moved by my feelings, I'm in, I'm in jeopardy now because now I'm in my flesh. And God don't want it. He said to believe. I mean, that's why he said God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believes in him yeah. shall not perish but have everlasting okay. life. He didn't say that whoever feels like they believe in him yeah. shall not perish but have everlasting life. And the enemy wants us to ride on our feelings opposed on the word of God. That's the yeah. difference. That's it. I mean, seriously, if you, are you tagging where I'm coming from? If we don't get the understanding, separate our feelings from what I believe, I believe. Therefore, I do. Matter of fact, man, what's that Shakespeare? I believe, therefore, I am. Isn't that Shakespeare? I believe, therefore, I am. Yeah. So, so. And, and as like I said, Bishop said before, the word has to be real to you. And if it's real to you, now you ride on something other than your feelings. In other words, to me, it sounds like if I operate in my feelings, now I got condemnation. Now I got defeat. Now I got worry. Now I got fear. Because now I'm based on my feelings. My feelings are guiding me instead of my belief. Yeah. And who he is, man, come on, man.